Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an empty data frame in R. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples or more precisely two alternatives how to create an empty data frame. And uh, in the first example I'm going to create an empty data frame simply by specifying empty vectors with, within the data frame function. And um, you can see how to do that in lines four to seven of this code, so here. And uh, as you can see in the data frame function, I'm simply specifying empty vectors by writing character and open parentheses, numeric open parentheses, factor open parentheses, and so on. And if we run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of our RStudio console, a new data object appears. We can also have a look at this data by double clicking on this data object. And as you can see here, we just created a data frame with three variables, with three columns, x1, x2, x3. But these columns don't contain any data. Okay, so let's move on to the second example of this tutorial. And in this example, I'm going to create an empty data frame with the setNames function. And uh, how to do that is shown in line 14 of this code. And uh, as you can see, the code here is a bit more complex. So let's go through this code um, from the middle to the outside of the code. So in the middle, we are first specifying a matrix with three columns and zero rows. So as we also did in example one. And uh, then we convert this matrix to a data frame. And then afterwards, we specify the names of our columns with the set names function. Yeah, so if we run this line of code, you can see that another data object appears at the top right. And again, if we double click on this data object, you can see that a new window appears, which is, which is showing our data. And again, the data has three columns, but no data inside. Yeah, so uh, which of these alternatives you use is, I think, a matter of taste. However, I wanted to show you both of these alternatives so that you are able to choose the option that you prefer. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. However, if you want to know more about the creation of empty data frames in the R programming language, then you could also have a look at my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have just published a tutorial on the creation of empty data frames. Um, and in the tutorial, I'm explaining these two approaches in more detail. Um, I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video, so you can check it out there. And uh, also, if you have liked the video, of course, I would be happy if you leave me a comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more R tutorials in future. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.